Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning. How y'all doing? Hope everything is going well with you guys. Um, really quick, I just want to go ahead and talk about something that I was um, actually thinking about when it comes to our walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? And if you read the book of Psalms, um, Psalms chapter 1 actually um, speaks about how we ought to keep a lifestyle or live a lifestyle that is pleasing to God. It gives like a blueprint on how we ought to live for the Lord Jesus Christ, right? And I found it like really profound. I have this Psalms actually memorized. That's how good it is, right? But I'm going to read it really quick. And then after that, I'll just break down some stuff that I got from it. All right, so Psalms chapter one begins at verse one, and it says, Blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful or the mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth his fruit in his season. His leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaffs which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. All right, so right there, man, it gives you a blueprint on how we ought to live. All right, so it said, blessed is the person that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. We have to stay away from people that counsel us in the way of evil things, from conversation of people that draws us away from the presence of God. And it also says, and, um, and stand not in the, the way of sinners and don't stand in the congregation of sinners or people who rebel against God and do not sit with people who mock God or are scoffful um, and have conversations that are basically like anti-God. So that's the first thing. Make sure you go ahead and steer clear of those people. Not that you don't love them, but the Bible does said that um, uh, good, it says that evil company, um, what does it say? Um, bad company corrupts good morals, right? So if you're in, 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 in that congregation or you're around those type of people, it's going to corrupt who you are in God. But it says that the blessings of that man is a person who delights in the law of the Lord and the word of the Lord. So we make that a priority to be in his word every day. Prayer, reading the word, meditating upon it day and night. And when we do that, we receive that word in our heart and is written within our mind, which gives the Holy Spirit more ammo for us to have to be able to battle everything that the enemy throws at us daily. So with us meditating upon the word is like basically us storing in our hard drive and our soul, the word of God, which is a lamp to our feet to help us to maneuver through the darkness of this world. That is why Jesus Christ said that we ought to be the light of the world. What does the light do? The light shines in the darkness. And what does that do? It gives us the ability to be able to see the ignorance, the trickery, the tricks, the, the the evil of this world and we're able to see it clearly so that we do not fall in a ditch all right and then it also says when we meditate upon the word we shall be like a tree planted by the streams of waters when a tree is planted by a river of water it's it's, it's constantly watered and that tree is completely strong its roots are strong because it's consistently receiving nutrition from the soil and from that water to help it to have a sustained life. And what are the products of being planted by the rivers of water? Um, you, that person will bring forth its fruit in his due season. You will bring forth a fruit in the time that God has set aside for you to bring forth that fruit. It doesn't mean that all the time you will receive what it is that you ought to get from God. It doesn't mean that all the time things will be going good. But in the due season, because you've been meditating the word of God, you've been staying in his presence, reading the word, praying, fasting, and continually communing with him, you will bring forth fruit in your due season. Your leaf shall not wither. So your your whatever you put your ends into, it shall be prosperous.
That's what it says right there. It says, his leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. So whatever you do with the word of God and with a relationship with God, it'll prosper in all the time. That's crazy, right? Like it, but it, but it, on contrary to that, it says not the godly, not the ungodly, but they're like chaffs that the wind blows away. So they're basically like tumbleweed that the wind blows away. They have no solid foundation in God. They have no water to sustain them and help them to produce fruits that is according to the will of God, and therefore they shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that is a blueprint to how we ought to live our life. We ought to stay away from um, congregation of people that are not feeding us spiritually. They're not helping us to grow in a relationship with God. And they are not even, you know, being like a help to us. Um, but we ought to be meditating the word of God, staying in prayer, staying in fasting, staying in one accord um, with a congregation of people that will help us grow spiritually each and every day. So, yeah, that, that I just want to go ahead and give that to y'all really quick. It spoke to me first. So I just thought I'd just go ahead and share it with you guys. Remember, seek the Lord Jesus Christ for yourself. Um, read the word for yourself. Fast and pray and worship him for yourself. Because at the end of the day, salvation is, pers is, is completely uh, personal. All right. Thank you.